fourth most common neurological disorder in the United States is also one of the least understood. We're talking about epilepsy today with Dr. David Burdett, a clinical neurophysiologist specializing in this area. Doctor, why don't you start off by telling us what is epilepsy? This is something that affects more people than you might think. One in 26 are diagnosed. People have many misconceptions about epilepsy. When we think about epilepsy, we may think of someone who suddenly falls to the ground and has a convulsion, and that does happen in the setting of epilepsy. But there are many other types of seizures that are a manifestation of epilepsy. And it is an interesting disorder from a neurological perspective because many of our neurological disorders have to do with a loss of function. When we have a stroke, we lose a part of the brain. We lose a part of the brain function. But with epilepsy, it's almost a, it's like a short circuit in the brain where suddenly a part or parts of the brain begin to fire in an excessive fashion. And so the, the beauty of, of treating it is that uh, we can turn someone's life around. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the facts because these are mind-blowing, a lot of them, including the 1 in 26. I mean, that's not something that people would think about. You're exactly right. If we take everyone, in fact, that lives to the age of 80, approximately 9% of people are going to have a seizure at some time in their life. Approximately 3% of people are going to be diagnosed with epilepsy, epilepsy being a tendency toward recurrent, unprovoked seizures. So it, uh, it is much more prevalent than, than we're aware, and it's a disorder that affects the entire lifespan. So there's a relatively high incidence of epilepsy in young children, and this kind of makes sense to us because uh, these are children who are born with, uh, with various issues, perhaps cerebral palsy, genetic forms of epilepsy that may predispose them to seizures. But then there's an uptick in seizures as we age, and in fact, by the time we're 70 years of age, we're at greater risk of developing epilepsy than at any other time in our life. Well, you know, when a parent finds out that their child has been diagnosed with epilepsy, the first thing that comes to mind is where are we going to get treatment, the best possible treatment, and people think they might have to go out of the state, across the state, but we actually have the luxury of having a state-of-the-art facility right here that treats the problem uh, at Spectrum Health Medical Group. Can you tell us a little bit about your programs? You're exactly right. We have at Spectrum Health a level four medical center, uh, a level four epilepsy center, I should say. And a level four epilepsy center is one that offers the entire spectrum of treatment for epilepsy. Our goal in the treatment of epilepsy is freedom from seizures. And with medications, when someone develops epilepsy, if we put them on a reasonable medication, about half of those people's seizures will become well controlled. So then if they're still having seizures, we go to a second medication and we pick up another 10% of people. And we may try a third medication, but eventually, we sort of reach a point of diminishing returns where about two-thirds of people's seizures are controlled with medication, leaving a third of patients who are still having seizures. And at a level four center, we look at higher tech, more aggressive options. You know, Spectrum Health Medical Group is really at the forefront of this treatment. And there's a way that people can find out more if viewers are interested in learning more about your services. You have a dialogue coming up. It's the Dr. Dialogue Seminar. Can you tell us a little bit about this and what people will learn and how they can get involved? The Dr. Dialogue Seminar is going to be jointly um, run, if you will, by myself and Dr. Kostelasevich. Dr. Elisevich is an epilepsy neurosurgeon and he is internationally known and each of us are going to give a short presentation and at the end of that we will have an open forum so that we can address people's questions about the medical treatment of epilepsy and the surgical treatments. Wow. And how can people get a hold of you and your offices? They can get a hold of my offices through Spectrum Health and uh, the Spectrum Health Department of Neurology, I don't know if I give that number or not, but I believe it may be on the screen. 
Um, That's right, it's 616-267-7900. Thank you so much. This is a great opportunity for people to learn more. Thank you for everything that you do at Spectrum Health Medical Group. Thank you. All right, well, this month is Epilepsy Awareness Month. It's also known as Movember, and here's how our team is supporting it. Here are a few of our crew members. This is Mike, Andrew, Scott, and uh, this is Tom and Josh, and they're growing mustaches to make a statement about good health for men. And Rachel, she snuck in here too <laughs> to support the cause. Rachel's using her hair, of course. We'll keep you up to date as this keeps growing in the weeks to come, and we'll have more 8 West right after this break. Don't go away. That's West.